Friday, another Friday with Father Scott coming to you from the, uh, the dining room in the uh, parish office building. So welcome to you, as is our custom. We're going to look at the gospel for the upcoming Sunday, the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. It's from the gospel uh, from St. Luke. And Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I've come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A, 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 kind of a challenging gospel from the sweet Jesus, uh, as we hear today, but it's really about uh, faithful and intentional discipleship. You know, uh, families will be divided, hearing the call and how we commit ourselves to, to follow the Lord. Uh, building up his kingdom and uh, all that he has called us to be about. So uh, a very powerful, uh, poignant uh, gospel today about uh, what happens when we commit ourselves and the radical call of uh, following the Lord. So on this weekend in ordinary time, as we hear that challenge, you know, we're called to be uh, faithful and true to the message of, of Jesus and, and all that that entails. So as you hear his voice, as you accept his call and challenge, we do it each and every day uh, to commit ourselves to St. Paul, with, that we're you know, gently working out our salvation with the Lord. So uh, we're called to follow him. So as we uh, reflect on the gospel today and all that it means, we're, the, the fire is, has been started. So. Hear the message today. Uh, just uh, one of those public service announcements. Uh, Monday uh, is a holy day. It's August the 15th, uh, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, but it falls on a Monday, so it's not a holy day of obligation. So just be mindful of that as we um, move forward. All things happening, things are gearing up around here. The first day of school is Tuesday, so the little people of God will be uh, flooding our campus again, and it's already a beehive of activity. Um, the Archbishop uh, Shelton was here on Tuesday of this week. Um, uh, he and, and I uh, concelebrated uh, the Eucharist together for all of the elementary school teachers in the Catholic schools uh, of the Archdiocese. At least they were all invited. So I think we had roughly close. 550, something like that. So it was a wonderful day to greet and meet and uh, open our doors wide for uh, people from around the Archdiocese of Louisville. So uh, a lot of good things, ladies and gentlemen, going on. So uh, until we meet again, uh, pray for each other, you know, keep our eyes out, watch each other. And, and as we come to you today, it's Donnie's last Friday here on our staff. And I, I remember when he showed up the first time with his uh, Leave it to Beaver Hat. Now that's me teasing him, and he's he's grown up now. He was a seventh grader and he transferred here, uh, and went to Trinity. Then he went to Bellarmine, and then he worked for us as an intern. And then we hired him, and I presided over his wedding. And now he's taking another position. So we wish him and Allison only the best as he moves on. And I just want to let him know I baptize babies, and I do that well. So we're. Praise God for, for the two of them and all that uh, God has in store in their lives. So we wish him the best. So keep your eye out for your brothers and sisters. It's in the gospel today. And until we meet again, blessings. Take care.